Hey guys, welcome to the learning Amplago CMS tutorial and today in this video I would like to show you how to add dynamic view and also loading the data from the Amplago CMS and display it on the website. Ok so let's get started and I will open the website we are working on and ok so in the in the previous video we have done loading the data for the title here from the Abraco into the website. So now today I will guide you how to load dynamic data from the Abraco for the Hero banner here. Okay, so let's open the Visual Studio and there is a banner. Okay, so we have we have done the loading interaction information here. There is a a property field name we have get it from the Umbraco backend. Okay, so let's open the Umbraco admin page. So for Umbraco admin page, I will call it the Umbraco backend. Login. Okay, so you go to the setting document type. We have home page. Yeah. So in the previous video, we have done the creation for interaction. Okay, and inherit this one inherit. And today I will display the hero banner and load it from the the, the, the backend configuration here into the website. Okay, so firstly, let's take a look into this one in packs banner oh you, you can see here for now the uh, background image for this one e, we are added into the style sheet so firstly we have to make it uh, display it on the uh, in the html first because we, we cannot add the uh, umbraco short code into the main dossier file here okay so now i have to open the main file Go to the banner. See it at main file. Yeah. And now I will disable this one. Command it. Save it. And back to the website. And I will try to refresh this one. Yeah. Okay. So in, so now you can see the hero banner has been gone. Okay. So now I will copy it. I will add it here. Style. Background image. I will select the emit first. But no. Okay, save it and back to the website and try to refresh this one. Uh -huh. It is so small. Background image, main. So it should be look the same thing when we adding the data into the main. Okay, save it. Yeah. 
make it back and try to read that Oh, here. So it should be put it into the banner. Sorry. Yeah. So now the hero banner, it look good for now. Uh, but you can see here for now we are hard coding the part of the image hero banner so now I will uh, I will try to add a new dynamic field uh, into the umbraco back end so that when the user comes there they are able to upload another image uh, which uh, replay for the current banner okay so let's do it I will click on the home page here and I will add new property and I will enter it in the hero banner so after that the dynamic field has been renderated into the hero banner with no space Click on Add Editor. So now scroll down. I will select the media, and it should be the file upload. You can select the media picker here, but for now, in this demo, I will select the file upload. Submit. Submit. Yes, here. So now click on Share button. After that, open the content and you select home page, scroll down. Here you can see here now from new property for hero banner has been added into the home content page. So you go ahead to click on the two file. Okay, so before we select a new uh, uh, background image for hero banner, so we should display uh, uh, disable the the banner here I will delete it like it so now it should be this way the blank emit yeah no emit for now and back to the back end and you select to the file okay so I will copy the image here Meet. open the image folder I will copy the banner okay copy it into the picture you can copy it to any folder I will open this one to file and see banner oh, cool and after that I click on the save and publish button to save the chain yeah so after we uh, submit the save chain so you can see here the new hero banner has been added into this 
uh, into this file. I into this uh, property. Okay, cool. So now open the Visual Studio. We should update a, a few of code here. Um, Braco, sorry. Braco dot view. It should be a uh, hero banner property. Setting home. Oops, refresh this one. Setting home. Yeah, it should be hero banner property. Okay, cool. And now uh, save it. And back to the website and try to refresh this page. If we have no issue, so the image had, uh, should be this way here. Yeah, you can see for now the image back had been back. And now I will try to uh, replace this uh, hero banner by another image. And let's see. Content. And to another file, I will select another file. It should be here. Save and submit back to the website. Refresh the page. Yeah, so now you can see here uh, the another background image has been displayed on the website. And meaning for now, we have uh, this hero banner has been. Uh, Displaying dynamically. Okay, cool. Back to the Visual Studio. Okay, so you can see here in uh, in previous video we have done the loading data for interaction. We are using the umbrella dot cited content item and get property value. So here we are also able to use the umbrella dot view to get the the the, the um, uh, dynamic view data from the umbrella. Okay, so instead of using a very long code here, we should replace it by few. Refresh this one. Yeah, the same. It still did play the same thing. What we have done in previous video. Okay, okay. So now I will upload back the banner image. To make the the UI look better. Okay, cool. Hope that helped. And feel free to let me know if you see any issue.